Cassidy from Cassidy Reads and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would do my favorite books of 2019. Now I had definitely more than 10 but I tried to pick my top 10 and these are kind of in no specific orders. These are just my most like favorite top five reads that I've read in 2019 and they're the books that I read for the first time this year. No rereads will be included in this list and I do have some series or books that are included but I just put all of those books in kind of like one category and I put them together as a number in this list and so let's get on with the video. So these are in no specific order. I really don't have like a favorite out of this list. I mean, I probably do if I thought about it long enough, but honestly, all of these were really good. And so the first book I'd love to mention that was one of my favorites this year was Park Avenue Player by Vi Keelan and Penelope Ward. I read it this in the beginning of December, end of November-ish, and I absolutely loved this. This came out in September of 2019, the end of September, I believe. And it's one of my favorite, it probably is my favorite Vi Keelan and Penelope Ward book up to this day. I am missing a couple books written by the both of them, so we'll see if that changes. But I absolutely loved this book. There was a huge kind of plot twist that I didn't see coming throughout the book, and I just really enjoyed the characters. Both the female and the male characters were really good. Of course, it was kind of like that enemies to lovers kind of trove. And it was a nanny and, like, he's not really dad, but um, uncle figure um, romance. So it was really cute. Again, the plot twist was really good in the story. And it was probably one of the best plot, plot twists I've ever imagined coming in a romance novel so that's probably why this was added to this list and like I said I was um read recently so it was kind of really fresh in my mind but I definitely knew I had to add it to this list. Next book I have to mention was my favorite sports romance of this year and it's the second book in a series and it's a part of a series from a spinoff and that is The Risk by L. Kennedy. This is the second book in the Briar U series and it's the spinoff series from the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. I loved this book. I have mentioned it a couple times on my channel and on my Instagram. I, it's part of my hate, like my favorite trove, Hate to Love. That is my all-time favorite trove to read in the romance category. But I also do really like sports romances as well. This is a hockey romance. It's Brenna and Jake's story. And I just absolutely loved it. There was so much angst. Just so much chemistry between the two characters. And so far this is my favorite book in the Briar Year series. I did read the play which came out in October, and that is the third book in this series, but it definitely did not compare to this book. This is my absolutely favorite book, probably by L. Kennedy in general as well, and I just really enjoyed it. It's fun, it's a hockey romance, it has that hate to love, it has the bickering and the bantering, and it's kind of like a forbidden romance because they're not really supposed to be together, so that is why it is part of this list. The next book on this list is probably no surprise to anybody who's basically in the reading world, and that is the bromance book club by Lissa K. Adams. I read this when I first got the copy. Um, I got it as soon as it came out. I pre-ordered it on Amazon, and I loved this book. I, again, I loved any book that was on this list, but this book was also kind of like regretting you. It was just so different from the normal romances that I typically read. This just, it was so different because the fact that the main character, Gavin, was already married to his wife. And so that is the kind of different reason of why it's so different when it comes to romance. Usually we read romances that lead up to dating or lead up to marriages at the end of the story or in a sequel or down the line in a series. So this was super cool and Gavin was trying to win back his wife because his wife had asked him for a divorce in the beginning of the story and that's how we find out that he's trying to win his wife back and by doing that his friends decide to help him and he the, his friends decide to tell him about the book club that they've been having and so in this book they're reading a historical romance and it was just super cool to read a book in a book because I don't think I've ever read another book like that before so that was really cool 
and I read this in about a day. I read it so fast. It was just really entertaining. Like I said, the story was super cool because it was so different from anything I've ever read before. So that's why it's made its way on the 2019 favorites list. Next book I have to mention, I don't have a physical copy of, but that is The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros. This was the first military romance that I read this year and I bawled my eyes. I don't even know if bawling my eyes out could be the best way to describe it. I just absolutely loved this romance. It was super good. Again, with a lot of these books, it's not just about the romance, romance aspect of the books and which made me love it and want to put it towards this 2019 list, but there was just so much going on. There was family. There was... Um, just so many good moments that made it the book that I really enjoyed. I read this in the beginning of the year when it first came out and I still to this day recommend it to anybody who's looking for a good book to cry their eyes out because I'm like, yes, that's it. It was so good and I know that it's coming out in mass paperback so that's super exciting and I'm definitely going to go and try to get myself a copy because I really see myself rereading this in the future. The next book I have to mention isn't even actually out yet, and it's not out until 2020, but I have to count it towards 2019 reads because I did already reread it, and that is Hometown Heartless by Carrie Ahrens. Carrie Ahrens is actually a new author to me this year. I had started reading her books, and then I joined her ARC team, and I absolutely loved this book. Like the last letter, it is a military romance and it's about a soldier coming back home and him re reuniting with his friend that used to be his neighbor and he's, she's always had a crush on him and it's him trying to come back to normal life after something happening to him really bad in the military and while he was away overseas. And I just loved this book. Like the last letter, I read it in a day and I absolutely enjoyed it. It was just so heartwarming and so heart-wrenching because you you see reality in these books because books like this are very um, realistic and it shows what happens to soldiers that are away and they're more realistic than other romancers where it's like, oh, I'm a billionaire and I, like, I'm dating this pretty girl and things like that. So books like this are really good and a really good change to read. Not that I don't love those billionaire romances, but it's a good change from those type of romances. And when this book comes out in January, I highly recommend you picking it up. The next book I also read as an arc, but it is already out, and that is Down Too Deep by J.D. Daniels. This was my first book by Jay Daniels and it definitely won't be the last. I love single parents romances and it turned out that both the female main character and the male main character were both single parents and it's always just so heartwarming and sweet to see other people react with the main character's kids or things like that. It was just super sweet. It turned out that the single mom um, was in the da uh, the diner of the main other main character, the male, and he was in desperate need of some help and she notices that he's struggling as a single parent, a newly single parent, and she decides to help. So she becomes the nanny of his daughter and she has two of her own kids. She has a son and a daughter and it was just super sweet. I really did enjoy that romance. I did kind of read it fast. All these books I kind of read in like a day or two or less and I just loved this book. I highly, I've highly been recommending it to anybody who's enjoyed single parent romances because it was that good. <laughs> the next book I have to mention is Landon and Shay Part 1 by Brittany C. Cherry. I read both of these as soon as they came out and I absolutely loved Part 1. Part 2 was really good as well, but Part 1 was definitely my favorite. This is a high school romance but on the more mature side and it does have some triggering factors so I do want to go ahead and warn you about that but this book was so good. Like a lot of this bo the books on this list they are more realistic than a lot of romances I definitely tend to read or gravitate towards. I just loved this book. Like I said it's really realistic. It has the kind of hate to love friend to love a romance and it was really good and I don't want to talk that much about it because I'm, I know I'm going to soil that because I could talk about this book for days but it was really good and I highly recommend picking it up. It was a really long read too if you read part one and part two together so that was really nice. 
So those were my top 10 favorite romances or just books that I definitely knew that I could add to this list. I have so many that I could probably mention. I could be here for hours, but those were the top 10 that I really enjoyed and I can't wait to see what 2020 brings as far as reading. I know I have a lot of books to read, but those were my favorite books of 2019. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day everybody. Bye!